I love it when a Playmobil comes together. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team. I know it took me too long to get to this review, but I'm so glad we're finally sitting down and talking about Playmobil's A-Team van. It is a great toy. I, I know I sound like Groundhog Day when I talk about Playmobil these days, but I've run out of adjectives. I've run out of ways to describe what good work they're doing. The Playmobil A-Team van, like the Knight Rider, like the Ghostbusters series, like the Back to the Future sets that I will be talking about in a big feature video soon. It's a really solid, fun toy that takes into account all of the details from the original TV show, The A-Team, and brings in that spirit of Playmobil at the same time. Once again, the fusion of ideas that Playmobil brings to the table is flawless execution. From everything I can gather and what other friends have told me who are experienced with Playmobil, this vehicle is based on a van that was also used for the DHL Playmobil set. But obviously Playmobil took the pertinent details of the A-Team van and then remolded those parts to make sure that it really gives off an A-Team vibe and not a European delivery van vibe. Like a lot of Playmobil vehicles, you get the figures in and out through removable roof hatches and canopies. At the same time, Playmobil makes sure to put in a simulation of the van's sliding door, and of course, the back doors of the van open up as well. In the back of the van, Playmobil has not forgotten to put in their equipment setup so that you get all of B.A. Baracus's tools, you get all of their CB and radio and recording equipment, and you even get what looks like an acetylene tank back there so B.A. Baracus can do welding on those projects that they always put together at the climax of each episode. As I said before, the van is beautifully detailed, including its bright red wheels, and there are enough seats to accommodate five figures. This is where it gets odd, though, because Playmobil is usually very complete in the way it puts a set together. But in this case, the number of figures doesn't match the number of seats. We get Hannibal, B.A., Face, and Murdoch, but we have five seats in the van. And as a kid who grew up in the 80s, watching the A-Team in its original broadcast and played with the Galoob toys, I feel like Amy Allen is missing. They have a conspicuously empty seat in the van, and she played a large role in both the first season and the toy line of the first season for the A-Team. And yes, while I know she was let go from the series, and then in subsequent seasons it was just the four male cast members, I always visualize the A-Team as five people, not four. So the first thing I did was go ahead and source a Playmobil female figurine that would be Amy Allen for this group. I'm still looking for some hair that's a little lighter brown, but for now, I like the hairstyle on this figure. I like the generic 80s-ish look to her clothing, so I'm really happy I picked this figure up because now all the seats in my A-Team van are filled. The other strange omission here for this set was, well, there's no easy way to say it, the guns. <laughs> The A-Team, even though the joke is they fired thousands of rounds and never hurt, killed, or hit anybody, there are no guns in this set, and the A-Team was always famous for being ready with guns to defend themselves, whether they were pistols or their M16s, and there were no guns in this set. Which is odd, considering Playmobil has made guns for other sets, including most famously that Bank Heist set that I showed you in a video a few years ago, and a lot of city action playsets involving the police have guns of varying types. Fortunately for me, my good friend and Playmobil expert Keith Knight managed to source Playmobil specifically designed M16s and pistols. I believe these come from a seller out of Spain, but this guy really went to work making sure that these weapons work with Playmobil action figures. He even offered up a chrome pistol that can go with Hannibal, which is great. And so when I put all these together with my Amy Allen figure, it really works well. I now feel that this set is complete and ready for display. All of the figures from the Playmobil Basic A-Team set look great. For example, B.A. Baracus has the proper screen printing on him, so he has all of his gold chains, and he has his gold bracelets, and he has his mohawk and beard. Playmobil even made sure to give him his long shorts and his socks and Converse shoes. They really went to the nines making sure that Mr. T looks like Mr. T in Playmobil form. 
The Hannibal figurine is given his recognizable white hair, and they've modeled his clothing on the show from that khaki jacket that he often wore in both cast photos and in a number of episodes. Hannibal is even given gloved hands rather than standard skin-colored hands, as he always wore gloves on the show. And the effort that they put into Mr. T that I just mentioned seems to also have gone into Murdoch. Not only does he have his cap, but he has a leather jacket with all of the livery on it, and even the t-shirt he's wearing underneath says, Bring Back the Dodo. They even give him his sock puppet. And this is my talking dog, Saki. This is my talking fist. His name is Knockout. Do you want to hear Knockout speak? No. Finally, there's Face Man. Face looks good. He's very stylishly dressed. I would say that in terms of the A-teamness of all of these figures, he's the one that if he was in a random pile of Playmobil parts, you might not immediately recognize him as an A-team member as compared with the other three. But when they're all in a group, you can tell there's a lot of Dirk Benedict there to go around. Overall, I'm really happy with this set. It is a mystery to me why guns weren't included. Amy Allen not being in it, I have a feeling that's about budget more than anything else. But if I had anything critical to say about the set itself right out of the box, it would be that the back seats don't secure the figures at all. So when you start driving that van around, they start flying all over the back of the van. And that's not normal for Playmobil vehicles. Normally the seating in a Playmobil vehicle is some of the most secure action figure seating you can have. Seeing this set after seeing Playmobil's Ghostbusters, Playmobil's Back to the Future, Playmobil's Knight Rider, and Playmobil's Star Trek, I can honestly say that if you have a problem with the action figure industry, and nobody else can help, and if you can find them in stores, maybe you can purchase some Playmobil.